Now for a look at your top stories. A local mom says doctors fought hard to save her 17 year old daughter's life. She says Megan Ebenroth died last month from a rare infection. Megan caught a brain eating parasite after swimming in a freshwater lake. Experts say they're found in warm bodies of water like lakes and hot springs. Her family says she was a student at Thompson High School and hoped to go to UGA. Neighbors from the community painted a rock in her honor, leaving behind loving messages for her. While cases can be rare, experts do believe there may be more in the future because of how hot the temperatures are getting this year. Washington County deputies say two people are alert and talking after they survived a plane crash in Sandersville yesterday. The FAA says it happened just after 9 o'clock on Kalen Road next to the airport. Deputies believe their plane had trouble right after takeoff. They say the pilot, 67-year-old Daniel Messnard of Florida, tried to turn back onto the runway but dove towards a marshy area instead. The other passenger is 69-year-old Timothy Fisher of Ohio. The FAA and NTSB are investigating what caused the plane to to go down. 400 students at AU will have to live off campus for the fall semester after flooding damaged parts of Oak Hall. The university says they found more damage during renovations. Oak Hall flooded twice back in the spring. The university will give students new campus shuttle routes, residential assistance, and on-site security for that alternate housing. They expect the group of 400 to be able to move in during winter break before the spring semester after inspection. Thompson High School is teaming up with the Shepherd Blood Center to host a drive this morning. Organizers say each donation can earn up to $20 for schools in the community. There's going to be breakfast biscuits there as well. That's from 10 to 2 at the high school.